rainy good afternoon to you and we're uh, happy to give you another update from LCS on this rainy Friday afternoon. I've been praying for rain so I can't complain. Lots of questions. Last week we asked how long are we going to do this? Well, we didn't have to wait too long for an answer for that one. We know we're in for the duration of the school year now so that allows us to, to uh, hit play instead of pause and start to do some planning for the end of the year that we hope will help us get ready for next year. On our website, there'll be a uh, tab on there for COVID-19 information. Encourage you to keep checking that regularly for information about uh, what we're, what's going on at school in relation to the virus and all our uh, shutdown and the whole deal. One of the things that's on that is the uh, information on the COVID-19 emergency financial aid fund. We know that some families have suffered a loss of income or loss of jobs at this time. We know this has not affected everyone equally, but we know there are some folks that will need a little extra help financially to finish off their last couple of months of tuition, and that's what this fund is for. We're grateful in the last week we received two or three generous contributions to that fund that will enable us to provide some assistance to families to get through this year, and we're grateful for that opportunity. Please contact the business office. There's information on the website about how to go about that. Then looking to next year, our re-enrollment, we're glad, is about 88 to 90 percent for next year. But we know most of that took place before the virus hit. So you'll be getting a survey in the next uh, week or so asking you to confirm your re-enrollment plans for next year. That's going to enable us to plan more effectively for our staffing and our programming. Those of you that have secondary students, they've already turned in their schedule requests for next year. When we get those re-enrollment numbers uh, validated, that will enable us to work on the master schedule and help us be able to have those students get in the classes that they've requested for next year. So please look for that and respond to that uh, as when you receive that, and that would be a great help to us. For, re for enrollment for new students for next year, or some of you may have kindergartners or K-4 students starting, those screenings and those interviews will begin taking place online. We've already done some of those. So we'll start the admissions program moving again. We're grateful for a steady stream of new students coming in, and we'll be processing those online until we can gather in person together again. This is a great time to share what's going on at Lakeland Christian with families that you think might be a good fit for our school. Share that video that went out yesterday about teachers expressing their love and care and prayer for their students. Share other information about uh, what's going on in social media or other information online with them and encourage them to consider what Lakeland Christian would have to offer for their family. We'll be preparing a virtual tour of the campus and other resources online to help facilitate our marketing and recruitment for students for next year. So be on the lookout for that on the website as well. Anything we can do to promote the community of the school is really a plus for us. We're really excited about all the participation on all the social media contests from the, the uh, Legos to the Bake Off to everything. It's really been fun to see our community engage in that and to cultivate community within our school. But we're not in this alone. This week I participated in a global prayer uh, time online with people from all over the world. ACSI, Association for Christian Schools International, that's one of our accrediting agencies, hosted a global online uh, prayer day this week. And, and it was interesting to listen to people from Africa and Central America and Asia and uh, in the islands and uh, all over the world praying for what's going on in their part of the world as students all around the world are trying to deal with this remote learning environment and keep Christian education moving forward. You know, for all the uh, frustration and irritation we can have with our technology and what we're doing, it's nice to remember sometimes that there's a lot of Christian schools around the country that don't have the internet capability, that don't have the online capability, and for them, keeping Christian education moving forward is very, very difficult, if not impossible. So in spite of the frustrations we feel sometimes, we are a very blessed people. We've got about four weeks to go. Seniors have less than that. So we're looking to come down the home stretch. I was thinking today, what have we learned about ourselves and what have we learned about our students through this time? When we think about it, we hear words today like nimble, agile, pivot, adaptability, next iteration, all these things that are supposed to be skills for life and work and living 
in this time that we're in right now. And a lot of those traits we're able to see develop in our students as we have to adopt and shift and change in this new format for learning. So it's an opportunity for us to develop some skills that probably extend well beyond the content of the academic area that our students are studying. Probably moves them from knowledge towards wisdom, which we know is essential skill for living. So we used to say in 2008, let's don't waste the crisis. So we've got a, a situation here that calls us to develop new skills and new agility in our learning and our living. So let's encourage our students to learn and grow in these areas as well as in their academic content and we'll be better for it in the end. So we thank you again for your partnership with us, working with us in uh, this remote learning format and helping us uh, maintain community as we go through this time together. So we'll be speaking to you again later with some more updates. We trust that your family will enjoy worship together again this Lord's Day, even though it's online. Be refreshed with worship this Lord's Day.